by using completing square method this formula is derived got it by completing square the way you so, do you know okay how to how to do this completing square ayushi yes so how to do this completing square basically you have to start with the ac method i don't know if you heard of that one before but um so say that you're given um can you give me a quick um equation really quick and then i can do that ax squared plus bx plus c oh okay a squared so mm -hmm. um i have to brush up on that it's been kind of a while but i remember that like mm -hmm. you're gonna separate into two different parentheses once you get yeah and then oh gosh no i have to brush up on that okay weber do you know this completing square method i think so i don't remember okay i i give you a bit of hint if you remember what do you do a x square plus b x plus c you divide whole equation with the coefficient of x square which is a okay so it will be x square plus b by a x plus c by a equal to zero okay this becomes the equation if you you can do one thing now this equation is there a x square plus b x plus c if you, you can divide whole equation by a then also it doesn't change it will be x square plus b b by a x plus c by a equal to zero it's okay then what do you do this b by a the, this b by a you give the let me write this y for you so what do you do is i'm I, i'm giving you a bit of hint okay x square plus b by ax okay plus c by a equals to 0 okay this b by a and use this c by a you give a different uh, name capital b capital c okay so just um, make it like okay better i write it here so it becomes like x square x square plus capital b x plus c equals to zero okay guys mm -hmm. then what you do is you take the coefficient of x coefficient of x is what plus b here even if it is minus b you can take minus b okay you can take the coefficient of x by 2 coefficient of x divided by 2 whole square one time you will add one time you will subtract now are you getting something yeah mm -hmm. why i'm doing this why i'm doing this this uh, this activity some monotonous activity why i'm doing it why it's required i'm doing anything and there is no point you see sir what are you doing plus minus anyway it comes out to be zero go ahead guys mm -hmm. Why did I do it? Hmm? There should be some reason of doing it. I am not doing anything randomly. Tell me. Not sure. 
what is the name of this method completing square mm-hmm. so i must be doing something to make a square mm-hmm. guys what is this if you combine this this and this what is this um tell me don't you see is it the square of b it is a square of x plus b by 2 whole square a plus b whole square my dear friend these three if i combine these three if i combine then it is written as x plus b by 2 whole square can you expand this x plus b by 2 whole square Mm-hmm. A plus b whole square, a square plus b by two whole square plus two into two into x into b by two, which is b b into x. You get same thing. Mm-hmm. Got it? That's what is our aim, my dear friends. That's what is our aim to to make it a, a square. That's why we are doing it. Are you getting what I'm doing? Yeah. Are you see? Yes. now you got what i am doing now and i take this b by 2 this side i take this uh, minus b by 2 this side and c this side okay it will be minus that means this will become a plus square minus c okay guys and if i do if i do 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 what i do what is b by 2 okay uh um, b capital b was b by a yes and c was c by a. c by a okay so guys if i simplify it, this is, it will be b square upon 2a square minus c by a mm-hmm. okay if you see then this whole thing will be 4 a square 4a square c by a it will be b square minus 4ac if you put the value of this one agreed or not yes mm-hmm. if you put b b equals to b by a, okay if you put c equals to c by a, then simplify it Simply add it to take the LCM or something. It is like four a square, then b square minus so uh, it here c by a. If you divide, then it is going to be just four a into c. Agreed, guys. You can do it. Mm-hmm. Understanding? Yeah. My dear friends, then if you have to, this is x plus b. This is x plus b by two. Again, if I put b by b square, again if I put b square, not not b square. Again, if I uh, in place of b, I put b by a. So b by two a. Guys, this was square, so I have to take under root to remove this square. I have to take under root. It will be plus minus. Agreed. Mm-hmm. For example, something like this, my dear friends. If I take y square equal to five, then y is equal to what? Root five. Tell me. Root five. Root five. plus minus root five. Plus minus root five. Because it can be minus also. Mm-hmm. Minus five minus root five square is also five plus five root uh, five is also five. The same thing we have done. Mm-hmm. Then from here, we get x is equal to minus b minus b plus minus under root. I take this minus b by two a this side, okay? And guys, this four a square is what under root? It is two a. Got it? Yeah. So it is simply addition. 
you don't even have to i can take the common denominator because even below b it was 2a only mm -hmm. and what is this my dear friend the quadratic formula the quadratic formula isn't it a derivation mm -hmm. yeah got it yeah. so the completing square method is this one you can read this on balance page number 285 by the way you have got balance book oh uh, yeah i just got it yesterday you got that that uh, show me which one okay which edition is this uh where does it say it should be in the left bottom ish in green text. Oh, it says sixth edition. Okay, that's better. Uh, when it's okay, even if you had got uh, seven, but because I have also six, so exactly the page number will also match. Okay. Just see page open page number two eighty five, and just see what is there on the page number two eighty five. Hey guys. Uh yeah, I found it. Wait. Uh. Yeah, it's the completing square. Hmm? It's the completing square. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Got it, my Ayushi? So this is the way. This is the way how you derive. Now, Ayushi, if you have done that derivation after doing this one, after doing this one, if you have done alpha plus beta and alpha into beta, I would have agreed because you have done something significant. But if I have already given you, I have already given you already cooked food, and you are eating. What is the big thing? Right. What is your heart, uh, work in that? What is the, where is your mind use, uh, being used? You have got cooked food and you are eating. You are uh, being happy. This is not how it is done. So you should also know the method, how it has been prepared. Then I will okay, agree that okay, you have done everything by your own. You are able to sense sustain. Got it, my dear friend? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, if I do alpha and beta, what do I get? Can you please do alpha and beta? With one plus, you in, with plus you intake alpha. With minus you intake beta, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, just uh, just do it quickly. Alpha into beta quickly do, and just see what do you get. Uh, can you explain? Hmm? I'm kind of confused on. Confused on what? The alpha and beta part. No, alpha is what? Minus B plus C. Can you see this? Can you see this? You can you see this? Is like two things plus and minus? Yeah. So either you can take plus one time or you can take minus. Got it? Yeah. So like you are taking with plus you are, you are calling alpha. Alpha actually X is what root only. Mm -hmm. So for example, alpha you will be calling minus b, minus b plus no no, no negative b square minus four ac. Yeah. Got it. B square minus four ac by two a. Yeah. And with negative you will write minus a beta. So come on, let's uh, quickly do its uh, product. See, I I showed you how to do. I showed you doing. Uh, I showed you to do. Uh, this one, mm, you know, uh, I showed you to do some. If you can do with, if you can do uh, product, that would be great. Do the product and tell me what is the value you get. And find beta you do. I am just writing beta value. I am not writing anything else. You already know. I have already told you. Upon two. Come on. 
alpha into beta. See, I with plus I am putting alpha, and I am, and with uh, minus I am putting beta. Come on, just do multiplication, my dear friend, and tell me the value. What I am going to get here? Uh. Don't you see a plus b into a minus b? What is a here? Minus b is a. What is b here? Under root b square minus 4ac. It is b. Okay. How will you multiply these two terms? Now I have done this much. You, you need to tell me how to do this one. Hmm? It's easy, my dear friend. Denominator is going to be what? Denominator is going to be what? Two a into two a, four a square. Yeah. And numerator is what? Minus b plus under root b square minus four c. Minus b minus under root b square minus four c. Can't you see a plus b into a minus b? Where a is what? Minus b and b is what? Under root b square minus four c. Yeah. So it a plus b into a minus b what a square minus b square. Mm -hmm. A square is what minus b square, yeah. which is b square. Mm -hmm. A square minus b square and uh, minus b b was what under root b square minus four ac. Yeah. And its square is what b square. Mm -hmm. It is a square of an under root value is what the number itself. Mm -hmm. Got it? So, my dear friend, isn't it so easy to get this one now? Yeah. This minus b square and my uh, this minus b whole square it's b square and minus b square it will get cancelled. Mm -hmm. This value, if you take minus inside the bracket, mm -hmm. and minus minus will become plus. Mm -hmm. Plus four ac upon four a is what? As it just plus four ac upon four a is what? Four four can it cancel? Ac by a square is what? Uh, is it a C over A? Yes. Oh, yeah. Got it? Yeah. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Sum of the roots is minus B by A and product mm -hmm. of the roots is C by A. We can do this way. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am telling this derivation. You you never be asked derivation or something, but it is very much important. These things are quite important. You must remember this one. Otherwise, what you will be doing? You will be factorizing and then adding the value and getting sum of the roots and product of the roots. Mm -hmm. You can directly do if you have an equation. And this is for which equation? You must remember. A x square plus B x plus C square. Got it? Okay. There is another way of doing this one. That also I can tell you. See, what you have to do is comparing coefficient. Okay? Now, since I have done this, so let me do this, this, this thing properly for you. Method 2. This was method one. I am writing this is a method two. Okay. Guys, for example, this this, this equation a square plus b a square plus b x plus c. I did it write it for properly, otherwise you can confuse. There it is x value. A x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. Mm -hmm. It has two roots, alpha and beta. Okay. Guys, if I divide this whole equation by A, it doesn't make sense like we did. We can divide the whole equation by A. It will be B by A. B by AX. B by AX plus C by A equals to zero. Agreed, guys? Yeah. yeah. 
and find beta are the roots of this equation. So this is like a this is like our first equation. I am just naming it first equation just after dividing. So I am like dividing means multiplying by multiplying the equation by one by. Okay, my dear friends, my dear friends. Uh, if unfined beta are the equations, uh, are the roots of this, that means they are the values of x. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, this if I put unfined this equation, a unfined square plus b unfined plus c equal to zero, it would be this would be this is going to be true. Yeah. If I put beta, it would be a beta square plus b beta plus c equal to zero. Okay, agreed. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. My dear friends, if I put that means I can have x my at last I will be having x minus alpha x minus alpha into x minus beta. At last, when I will be factorizing this equation, this will come up to this one. This one. Yeah. Agreed. Then only I can have x equal to alpha and x equal to beta. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Because this equation can only say x equal to n phi and beta, and these two equations, this equation, <coughs> this equation, and this equation, these are all same only. It will get factorized. In fact, I should better say, I should better say, this equation and this equation, they are same only. Now I tell you why. Now you can expand this equation. You are doing some mathematical way. I mean, you are do doing a reverse order thing. You know, reverse order thing because this step will come at the later stage. At last, then only you can write x equal to n phi and x equal to beta. Agreed, guys? Mm -hmm. But now, what you do? You just multiply these two and you. So you will be getting x square. Come on, x square minus minus n phi x minus beta x. So I can take minus common. Minus alpha plus beta, minus alpha plus beta x, minus alpha plus beta x, uh, minus alpha into minus beta plus alpha beta. Agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can keep on saying. You don't have to be silent. But that doesn't mean I am asking you to shout. Just say the equation. Okay. Okay, guys. Just see this equation one and two. These equation, this equation one and two, they are same. Yeah. See, this is in terms of the, a, a, b b by a c by. But after doing so much of factorization, after doing fact, uh, some uh, AC method, splitting the middle term and all, you you can come up to you will be getting this. You will be getting this uh, this step. Then after this, you will be getting this step. You are you are getting what I am doing. This is the last step. This is the yeah. last step. Yeah. But I am reversing from last step. I am going to this step. Got it? Mm -hmm. Then I am comparing the first. Then I am comparing the first with this. You are getting? Yeah. So these two equations, guys, my dear friends. My dear friends, these two equations, this equation and this equation, they are, they are same equation. And if the equations are same, you can compare the. Then its coefficients will also be same. Yeah. Are you getting? Yeah. But you will say, sir, why can't this equation x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equal to zero is equal to a x square plus b x plus c? These two equations are also uh, same. Only this second equation you have got just by dividing the first equation by uh, by a, mm -hmm. my dear friends. So here, let me you know give you one example. For example, guys, you have equation. Uh, 
टू एक्स आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू एग्जाम्पल ओके टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू सिक्स अनदर इक्वेशन है एज एक्स प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव वाई Okay, just a minute. In place of one point five y, let me just put one constant. X plus b y equal to three. Okay, guys. Okay. I am saying these equations they are same. They represent, or I can say they represent these system of equations. They represent. Infinitely many solutions mm -hmm. because they will overlap with each other. Mm -hmm. Ayushi, did I tell you on these things? I think so. I told you, na? Yeah. Infinitely many solutions. Oh yeah, infinite many infinitely many solutions means that the um, slopes do not equal the same and um, the intercepts are also same. Yeah. Webber, you know this thing? Yeah. Two equations they will have infinitely many solutions, my dear friends. When they will be having same slopes and they will be having same y-intercept. Got it? Mm -hmm. Agreed. My dear friends, if I tell you these two equations are same, then what should be the value of b? Ah, uh, one point five, right? Okay. How did you get this one point five? Just because I wrote before. No. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Okay. Then tell me how did you get? Yes, I'm saying has... these, these two equations are same. Yeah. It's because um, if they're both the same, that means the top one is scaled up by by two, right? Top one is. Is like is like is like double the bottom one. Ah uh, yes, correct. And it doesn't make sense in the. It it doesn't actually make any difference. Yeah. In reality, if you multiply left-hand side of the equation, right-hand side of the equation by the same term, or divide by the same term, it doesn't make difference in the equation. Mm -hmm. So, if I say both the equations are same, so what you did first? See, you have told correctly. Are you see, one point five is going to be my friend. Mm -hmm. But, but, how did you get it? Now see the concept. What you did, you divide. You divided the first equation by by half. I say you you divided the first equation by one by two. Okay. If you divide the first equation by one by two, what you are going to get, my dear friends? X plus one point five y. Equals to three. Uh -huh. This is what you are going to get. Yeah. So, my dear friends, what you did, you you didn't know the co y coefficient here. You didn't know y coefficient. You didn't know y b here. Okay. But you couldn't equate directly b equal to three. You didn't equate b equal to three. Why didn't you equate b equal to three, guys? Because the x value isn't the same, also. Because. Because the x and final result aren't the same. Because you have x. Your voice is very low. You need to speak uh, loudly. Their coefficients aren't the same. The coefficients are not, are same, not or same. same. Because in the first equation, they're all multiplied by two. I mean, well, their x coefficient is two. Yeah. So actually, what you did, you know, these these two equations are same. So. So, what are the known coefficients? What are the known coefficients you can have? They should also be same. Right. So you made the coefficient of x same. You made the coefficient of x same mm -hmm. first. Then whatever when you get, then okay, you get you made the equation coefficient of x same means it was one. Mm -hmm. 
the second equation's coefficient uh, of x was 1. So you made the coefficient of first equation x 1 by dividing by 2. Now these two equations are again, now these two equations, I will say they are same. Okay, now you can do what you can do. You can you can compare the coefficients. Right. Compare the coefficient means coefficient of x in this equation equal coefficient of this equation. Coefficient of y in this uh, equation is equal to coefficient of y in that equation. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So coefficient of y in first equation is b, but coefficient of uh, uh, y in second equation is what? 1.5. So b equals to 1.5. Got it, my dear friends? Yeah. Why did you divide? Now you got the answer. Yeah. Now you got the answer. Why did I divide by one by uh, by a here? Yeah. Because when the equations are same, so you need to make the coefficients of x square same. Are you getting what I'm doing, my dear friends? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is how you do it. Got it? Okay. My friends. Now, so what I can do, since this first equation and second equation, they are equal. So I can compare the coefficients? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed, my dear friends? So coefficient yeah. of x is x square is 1 and 1. Okay. It is already 1. Coefficient of x is b by a. Coefficient of x here is? c by a. What? c by a. Where are you? Wait, you just asked the next thing. Coefficient of x, I am saying. Well, that one, oh, well, the coefficient of that is b, b by a. Got it? Yeah. Here yeah. it is b by a, and here it is minus alpha plus beta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... And the constant term here it is c by a, and here it is alpha plus beta. Yeah. Yeah. So these these values also have to be equal, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we can write alpha plus beta equals to what? Equals to b over a. Actually, minus b by a because minus alpha oh, yeah. plus beta equal to this one. You are getting comparing the coefficients. Yeah. The similar analogy. I am using here minus b by okay okay and product and the c by a the constant has to be equal to alpha plus beta so alpha plus beta is equal to what c by a. isn't it so easy my dear friends yes. yeah if it was so easy then why didn't you tell me I was just a bit confused earlier. Don't get confused in life. See, you get confused or you are you don't know. Both both will be same only if you cannot answer it. So see, this is another way of doing it. Yeah. That was one way of doing it. I can call that as method one. Mm -hmm. Agreed? Mm -hmm. My dear friends, yes. so this is how you do it, guys. This is, in reality, how, how you do it. Are you getting? Yes. This is, this is one of the uh, very beautiful way of you know, explaining things. I mean, I, I really appreciate uh, Ayushi. She came up with a uh, uh, quadratic equation and she just... Uh, she tried at least she, the, the the way she tried the, the the way she tried it is also commendable but before that i wanted her to derive quadratic formula because i wanted everything from the basics now you see the method the method 2 which i have done it is from the basics i didn't use anything any derived derived thing i didn't use I just divided, I multiplied, I compared the coefficient. What did I use? Everything was fine, my dear friends? Yeah. yeah. This is the basic. You need to understand. This is one of the most beautiful things uh, we need to uh, understand. So this is, you know, you know, I the derivation no one is going to ask you in SAT, 
but through using this derivation you can get so many concepts and then you can do so many uh, good questions some tough questions even if you get stuck some day you can go back to basics okay what was the basic why how it was derived how this how did this formula come actually into existence that is more important for me my my dear friends that is more important for me got it yes so hopefully everything is clear yeah fine okay my dear friends so here we stop the derivation part okay 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 and let's go back to our questions class class of questions okay all right fine let me change the new board okay ayushi yes i uh, yesterday i i put um, yesterday i gave uh, two questions of uh, not to could you do yeah now um, wherever you have to see on the videos you missed some of the videos yeah. because you were camping and uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. you are in scouts so i told you how to see the videos i have already sent you on the notes also yeah everything is uh, is with you mm -hmm. now you have to my dear friend now you have to revise and okay. and uh, you have got parents also yeah i and just I, got I, it and i gave a good homework so now after this we'll be having class next tuesday okay so guys you will be having ample time though i will give even another lot of homework yeah and i even keep uh, ayushi busy like honey bee <laughs> and i even give uh, the homework which i give is definitely not but you are not understanding you will be you will be understanding it uh, later that how much useful it is to do this much of homework because then you get confidence then you you get through all the on the uh, all type of questions you can get i can take some good questions some tough questions and teach you the concepts i cannot take all the questions here so you need to have practice by doing this okay you will be you will be knowing it but you won't get speed you won't get confidence that you can only get by practice and practice there is no shortcut for success mm -hmm. guys there is just no so shortcut for success i don't have there is no magic you have to work hard and hard not just hard you have to work joyfully you when you are joyful then you will work automatically you should enjoy your work you don't have to take stress when you say work hard means uh, you are putting lot of stress work hard study hard study joyfully that would be more effective way of uh, doing a study i believe mm -hmm. you should when you start enjoying your study guys when you start enjoying your study i believe then that nothing can be better than that if you start taking interest in knowledge if you start taking if you are more interested in gaining knowledge than concentrating on the score then you will be more knowledgeable i mean you will you will really enjoy what i am teaching what you will be doing on your own you will definitely get a score if you are enjoying your study so it's a score is like a bonus for you right mm -hmm. you are enjoying your study also and uh, you are getting a score also it's like a by product you know what is by product guys yeah what is by product it is like for example if when you go into distillation uh, when you go for petroleum distillation okay my dear friends when you go for petroleum distillation your aim is to for example your aim is to get petroleum your aim is to get petrol or diesel out of crude oil okay mm -hmm. i was working in usa in um, uh design 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 company i was having a very good profile i was i am a very i am a specialized person in designing equipment for oil and gas so i know all these things so when crude oil comes for example your aim is to get uh, petrol or diesel but apart from that in doing the whole process in doing whole, the whole process there is a destination column 
there's a big distillation quantum. I don't know if you have studied this physics or not. Have you studied distillation quantum and all? No. Oh, you have not studied distillation quantum? No. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. But uh, yeah, it is taught in some of the syllabus. Maybe because you have not, uh, it is not is there. In the hmm? Is that physics? Uh, I won't say it is, comp yeah, it is, uh, I'll say a bit of physics. I won't say completely physics. It is just a general, uh, general science, I will say. Okay. It is rather a general science, my dear friends. So I worked with Philip 66. You must be knowing. Yeah, I know. Philip so. 66, Chevron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exxon Mobil. Yeah. Right, right. All these uh, gas stations are there. Yes. In US, mm -hmm. I was I went to refineries. I was working in the refineries as a core engineer mm -hmm. in the uh, in the Texas area. So, my dear friend, if for example, your aim is to get diesel or petrol, I mean, uh, what you what people call in US is gas. They simply call gas. Okay, mm -hmm. your aim is to get gas, but in doing that, you get so many things in between: natural gas asphalt and other uh, other things naphthalene or i don't know what what also i mean i don't even remember completely now the on the names so many byproducts in be that means the product which you you get additional you can get you can get the additional product so it is like for example if your aim is to get your aim is to get knowledge so a score is a byproduct it is an additional thing so that is important that you should enjoy your study and uh, should uh, enjoy the process rather than just uh, uh, rather than just you know rather than just concentrating on mm -hmm. rather than just concentrating so for example you are here you guys are here and your aim is your aim is knowledge you want to you you want to get knowledge you enjoy this whole process of getting knowledge joyously okay you are doing whole, this whole process joyfully so in between the, these are the byproducts for you so the byproducts are what sat high score in sat or high score high grade in ap ap course ap calculus or mechanics, uh, electricity, magnetism, whatever you can get. Then a high grade in college. Obviously, when you will be having good SAT score, you can get the best, best university. Best university according to your score. OK, then you can have high grade in University also high high grade in university. Then you'll be whatever you wish to do, whether you wish to go for a company, whether you wish to work with some firm, or whether you want to be entrepreneur, you want to have your own enterprise. Then everything. So these are like that. These on things, my dear friends. These on things are nothing but byproducts got it yes this is the this this is the ideal way of study my dear friends this is the ideal way of study you should be behind knowledge your aim should be high knowledge is above all knowledge is actually a supreme power the punch line of my courage the moat of my college is knowledge is supreme power. Definitely, I realize it. If you have knowledge, you can do anything. Right. So aim knowledge. And you. this whole process should not be hard. It should be joyfully. People say, study hard. And all those things, everywhere, hard, hard, hard. I don't know. Study pleasantly. When your mind, when you are doing joyfully, when you are pleasant, your mind is calm. Only calm mind can have creative ideas. That's the most important, my dear friends. Mm -hmm. So remember these things. Just enjoy.
in between studies take breaks go listen to music play something whatever you want talk to mom father play with your siblings then again come back so this should be the process okay so let's come back to questions we have some good questions of quadratic equations for you my dear friends okay. yesterday i gave um, two uh, i left two questions for homework i believe you must have done it it was definitely definitely i i believe the last question was def definitely a difficult one yeah. so let me upload the let me upload the document for you and um, let's do it okay Bye. come on can you see this yes we have attended this attended uh, this question uh, we have done before this you will see in the video uh -huh. these two questions are important or uh, important means they, they were left come on my friend what is the answer for this one um i said it was a yes it was a okay let me read the question and you can tell me how to do it Okay. okay my friend yeah shorya plans to buy a car i made this question for my friend for my friend like my student friend from california but uh, unfortunately uh, i i just took she in place of he mm -hmm. shorya plans to buy a car but she has learned that her car windows when you quickly in first few days that she owns it obviously this is like a car is a movable property there is something called movable property and immovable property if you go and buy a farm land if you buy if you buy house its value increases but if you buy movable property its value decreases okay. getting my dear friend yes so if the moment car comes out of showroom you just it's where uh, you just ask its cost after one month or six months then you understand yeah. what is the cost so the same thing it is like same thing quickly in the first few years that she owns an online calculator uses the following formula to show her the value vt in dollars <laughs> okay an online calculator uses the following formula to show her the value vt in dollars of the car t years from now after t year what is going to be the value what is going to be the price of that car it is calculated by this formula vt equal to 24900 into into 0.85 to the power t okay if you want to if you are getting confused just take this under bracket okay now agree Twenty-four nine hundred into eight point eight five to the power t. How many times it's present to earn you? How many times it's present to earn you? Would Shorya's car car be worth after any two year year period, my dear friend? How many times the price will be after two years from now? This is the question. I mean, actually, it is between any two years. It is going to be same. For example, if you are taking this year as zero year, after two year in twenty at the end of at the end of twenty twenty one, what is going to be the value? Come on, my dear friends. For example, in twenty nineteen, I am considering the twenty nineteen January. i am considering the 2019 january as t0 2020 january as t equals to 1 okay 1 year 1 year 2021 this is a 2021 as t equals to 2 2021 january as t equal to 2 
so you for example you purchased your car in 2021 okay what is going to be its value oh sorry i'm sorry you purchase your car in 2019 january what is going to be its value in january 2021 Hmm. What did you do? So first, I calculated it in 2019. So that hmm. means T would take the place. I mean, zero would take the place of T. And so once I calculated <sighs> that, it just gives you twenty four thousand nine hundred. And then, okay. And then you have to calculate for uh twenty twenty one, which is two years after. So you replace T with the number two. And once you solve that, you get seventeen thousand nine hundred ninety point two five. And then, since you're trying to find out um, how many times um, it would be after, I mean, how many times its present value it would be uh, after two years, then uh, you put the amount from the two years period, which would be seventeen thousand nine hundred ninety point two five, divided by the original amount twenty four thousand nine hundred. And then once you divide those, you would get zero point seven two two five. Okay, you you did it correctly, but let's do it more smartly, my dear friends. I'm putting on the full screen now. I think this is also better. Way. Yeah. Just on screen. You don't need to do this much calculation. Just put. You are comparing after two years with current years. So let's. That means. Comparing means again division. I told you this thing before. That how many times? How many times means it's a comparison? Okay. Mm -hmm. You're when you're comparing, what you have to do? You have to divide the equations. Write the equation and divide it. Okay, guys. Okay. So v t equal to v at t equal to two is equal to what? Twenty four. Twenty-four nine hundred into zero point eight five square. Okay. Okay. We at t equal to zero is going to be what? Twenty-four nine hundred into zero zero point. Zero point eight five to the power zero. It is one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just divide these two equations. For example, if you are dividing these two equations, so it goes off. What is left? Just zero point eight five square is left. Why are you multiplying this thing? You are multiplying and making uh, things little bit difficult. Or uh, you know. So in reality, what do you get? If you go get from here, what do you get? V at t equal to zero. Divide by v at t equal to one is equal to what? Zero point eight five square. And guys, what is zero point eight five square? Can you do it? Point seven two two five. Yes, point seven two two five. You can do it easily. Yeah. I can tell you one one method that's called that's a method of Vedic mathematics. How to do square? Mm -hmm. That's one of the methods. See. Now understand how to do a Vedic mathematics. This way, for example, guys, if I ask you sixty-five into sixty-five, how how to do it? You do With five, me? five times five, hmm. and then put the five on the bottom, and then move the two up to the top. You do five times six. Yeah, that, that's a traditional method. Would you do sixty-five times five and plus sixty-five times sixty? That is also a traditional method. Now come back, come, come back to come come back to a Vedic mathematics Indian method of Wait, finding. Wait, can you like sixty-five times five and then plus sixty-five? Now find now now this is a method. This is a method. Indian method of doing it. Don't you do like five, do five into five? Five five or twenty-five? Yeah yeah yeah. Thus, don't you like uh, increase increase six six this number by one. Minus one seven seven six seven six yeah forty two. That's that's all the answer is eighty five into eighty five. Okay, 
just multiply this is a vedic mathematics i am teaching a bit 5 5 the 25 increase this number any that the the second number second digit by 1 i mean maintain you increase it's not that you really increase imaginary 8 plus 1 9 9 it is 72 this is the answer this is the answer this is apni given for squares under 100 whose first digit is 5 95 95 tell me answer tell me answer uh 9025 correct direct answer 55 25 increase by 1 plus 1 9 plus 1 10 10 into 9 90 got it yeah 35 into 35 orani quickly uh 12025 yes got it now you are getting 55 into 55 mm -hmm. uh 6025 that's great got it now yeah these are some of the methods guys uh, we need to know these are some mathematical ways of doing things so got it answer is yeah. it isn't it so good idea to do you know such a good level uh, of i will keep on telling you some some tricks also to make calculation fast okay okay come on next question next question for the next question i was struggling a bit but then i tried my best and then i got answer d as in you got a, answer d yeah really yeah i was really struggling so i'm not sure if that was right at all it is a bit tough question i know that huh it is a bit question huh Did you send a question? Which question I sent? It says, "Are you enjoying?" It it, it popped out some on its own way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to answer it. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to answer it. Okay. This this is a, one of the way of uh, creating a uh, you know a uh, surprise test, surprise quiz. Can you see this? Yeah. I can create it. Okay, guys. This is a technology. See, my dear friends. Yesterday, yesterday I told uh, that the maximum value of uh, yeah, maximum value of uh, a quad uh, quadratic equation, maximum or minimum value of quadratic equation, it. Occur set minus b by two a. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. I told you this thing. Yeah. I told the graphs and all. Agree? I got the. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So let's let's read this question and quickly do it. Okay. My dear friends, Gita Pardes. Gita Pardes. Uh, let me use yellow color for you guys. I like here no or not. Okay. Geeta in place of Geeta let me take Vaibhav. Vaibhav purchased 200 feet of fencing to make a rectangular play area for his dogs. See Vaibhav? Uh -huh. You are so generous. He purchased 200 Could you please uh, switch off your microphone? The background noise is coming. Vaibhav. Uh one second. The microphone needs to switch off. Okay, so like Vaibhav purchased 200 feet of fencing to make a rectangular play area for his dogs. The possible area A is given by the equation 200 feet of fencing to make a rectangular play area. The possible area A is given by the equation where W is the width of the W is the width of the play area. You know, so it is like a rectangular uh, play area. Just see. So this is like a rectangular play area, and W W is the the width. 
and anything you want to take. So this is like the length. Possible area A is given by the equation below where W is the width of the area. Agreed? A W equal to 100 W minus W square. Okay? This is a function. If you put the value of W, you can get the area. If you put, for example, if you put W equal to 10, if you are taking the width as 10, so if you put 10, so it is going to be 100 into 10 minus 10 square. Mm -hmm. So 1000 minus 1000 minus 10 square is 100. 1000 minus 100, 900. So this is like a function given. Okay, guys? Yeah. This is a function given. Agreed? Yeah. Which of the following equivalent expression displays? Equivalent expression displays. So when you are going to do SAT questions, guys, what you have to do, if the equation is big, you have to just, uh, you have to just, in, uh, when you are reading the question, you have to underline the important uh, data which you feel that is going to be useful in solving the equation or solving the, in fact, solving the whole question, not just equation, whether it, you, you are doing uh, uh, SAT physics or whatever it is. So just keep on uh, underlining that uh, the important data while you are reading so that you don't have to repeat the question again. You don't have to reread the question. With the following equivalent expression displays as a constant or coefficient, the value of width for which the area is maximum. So what do you want? You want area to be maximum. So my dear friends, can you please tell me at what value of W the area is going to be maximum first of all? Um, would it be 20? At what value of, at what value of W the area is going to be maximum? Well, we use that, um, the formula of like C minus B squared by 4A. C minus B squared by 4A. Okay, yes, yes, yes. But at what when do you get that? At what when do you get that? I, I got it, what you are saying. That is a that is the maximum value. But at what value of x you get that value? Um, My dear friends, let's go back and I quickly tell you what it is. For example, if you have If you have this equation, okay, if I'm making the equation, if I'm making the uh, the graph of this equation, so it is something like this. I'm taking two. Okay, two graphs. Guys, A is greater than zero. And this graph for A less than zero, okay. Yeah. Okay, so for a greater than zero, you get how do you get the graph opening upward? You know this thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for uh, a less than zero, you how do you get something like this? Yeah. Uh -huh. Guys, this is this is this is the min, uh, this uh, actually it is, should be you know like very uh, like this it should come. This value is the minimum value. Mm -hmm. Agreed, guys, my dear yes. friends. And this is the maximum value. Yes. Agreed, my dear friends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Maximum value possible. Beyond that, obviously not possible. And below this, obviously not possible. At what value you get this value, guys? At mm -hmm. what value of x you get this one? You have, you have two roots. These are the roots. This is the midpoint exactly. That's yeah. it. That, that's it. So, for example, this is alpha. This, if you equate this thing, if you equate this graph uh, equation to zero, you will have alpha and beta is roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is alpha and this is beta. This is alpha and this is beta. Okay, agreed, my dear friends. Yeah. At midpoint, this is a symmetrical, this parabola is symmetrical thing. So obviously at the midpoint, alpha plus beta by two, you are going to get alpha plus beta by two, you are going to get the maxima or minima. Here it is, you are going to get minimum value. Yeah. Agreed, my dear friends? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
what is unfamous beta? Um, I just told you. Yeah, B over negative B over A. Exactly. Very good. Negative B over A. So minus B by two A. Yeah. Agree, my dear friends. Mm -hmm. And same thing, obviously, minus B by two A. And that's the reason actually at x equal to at x equal to you know at this coordinate at x equal to minus B by two A, you get maxima maximum value or minimum value. Mm -hmm. And you will be plugging this minus b by two. You don't even have to have to uh, mug up the result. If you if you know the direct result of what y you are going to get, it's okay. Otherwise, just put minus b by two in the equation and get the value of y, whatever you get. Okay. Right. <laughs> what What did you say? C O C and something. C, what did you say? Uh, it was like c minus b mm -hmm. squared over four a. Just check it out. If it is whatever it is. Just check it out. I mean, I am saying don't have to remember. Uh, just plug in minus b by two in the equation and get value of y. Okay, my, my dear friends. Okay. That value will be the value of this y. That will be the value of y. So my my idea of the uh, is at minus b by two a, at minus b by two a, you get minima, minimum value and maximum value based on the coefficient of X square. Yeah. If the coefficient of uh, x square a is positive, then you get minimum value. If the coefficient of x square is negative, then you get the maximum value. Agreed, my dear friends? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is the this is the fundamental of doing things. Either you do either you, either you find out roots and find beta, and take the midpoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you directly do. Or you directly do minus b by two a. Both are same only. Both are same only. By looking at the equation, you can directly say, "Oh, okay, it is minus b by two a. Minus b by two a, you are going to get." Or you find out unfine beta, and then you do it. So I believe this putting minus b by two a is direct and it's a faster way. We have understood. Yeah. Okay, my dear friends, let's come back to the question which we we are doing. Minus b by two a. Minus uh, okay, so at what value of uh, W we are going to get maximum maximum or minimum value of A W? First of all, you tell me whether you are going to get the maximum or minimum and why. Quick, um, come on, my dear friends. I know you you can do it. Wait, what did you ask us to do again? I'm just asking. Uh. I am asking you at what value, at what value of uh, I, I am asking you at what value of W you are going to get maximum value of A W or minimum value of A W. You need to tell me. For the maximum, would it be twenty five hundred? I asked you what value of W at what value of W okay. at what value of W, my dear friend. Just now I told you. Yeah, yeah. Just now I told you. Hmm? Just now I told you at what value at what value of W or at what value of x you are going to get maximum or minimum value of y just now i told you so why don't you use that thing and first of all you tell me you are going to get maximum value or minimum value for this expression for this quadratic equation this is a quadratic equation this is a quadratic expression i should say this is a quadratic expression written 100 w minus w square if i equate to 0 it will be called quadratic equation Equation is what when you when you equate the expression to something, or you have left hand side equal to right hand side, or equ expression equal to zero, that would be called equation. Or otherwise, it is just a polynomial or expression. So, tell me this uh, quadratic expression. In this quadratic expression, you are going to get maximum value or minimum value. First of all, tell me. Come on, my dear friends. 
just now you have to you see you saw when a is less than zero when a is coefficient of coefficient of x square a is what coefficient of x square okay coefficient of x square less than zero then what do you get you get maximum value of y when you have greater than zero what do you get you get minimum value of y okay okay my dear friends mm -hmm. come back here 100 w minus w square coefficient of w square is what see i mean don't get confused because i am putting the the linear term first and the quadrating term later don't get confused minus w square plus 100 w what's so big so coefficient of w square is what it's 100 minus 1 my dear friend you said w no, I said W square. Okay. All right. Coefficient of W square is minus negative one. one. Negative one. Negative one means you are going to get maximum value. Uh -huh. At what value you are going to get maximum value? Minus B by 2A. Got it, my dear friends? Yeah. Uh -huh. At this value, you are going to get the maximum value of the, uh, this expression. And what is the minus b? Minus b by 2a. What is going to be the value of minus b by 2a? Can you please tell me now? Oh. We, our aim is to get the maximum value. This is possible at w equal to what? Minus b by 2a. What is, minus, uh, what is b here? 100. Hmm? 100. Say now, Lee, you should have confidence, my dear friends. The confidence is very much important. 100 and minus B divided by 2 into A. A is what? Negative 1. Exactly. So, my dear friend, what value you are going to get uh, A W L maximum? 50. 50. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. That's all. That's all. At 50, you are going to get. Or you, you can do simply what you are going to you can do. You can simply equate this to zero. Then you get two values of W, one value of W is zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I make the graph of the equation which we, uh, we are doing, it is going to be what? See, first of all, coefficient. You, first of all, what you should check is the coefficient of coefficient of x square. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coefficient of x square is negative. Okay, my dear friends. Uh -huh. So it is the graph in open downward. Open downward means it is opening downward like this. Okay. Okay. And then what do you do? First of all, check coefficient of x square or here coefficient of w. So here the graph will be between here. The graph is going to be between y and w. Or I, I, I would rather say A W. I would rather say this is A W thing. Graph is between A W, A W and W. Okay, my dear friends. Uh -huh. Graph between A W and W. Okay. Right. This graph between A W and W. So it is going to be what? It is going to be something like this. Coefficient, uh, the coefficient of W square is negative. So opening downward means like this. Open, see it is opening downward. This, is, this side is the open part and it is downward. Okay. okay. Equate this to zero. If you equate this to zero, what, what value of W you are going to get, my dear friends? Quick, guys, quick. You need to be quick at calculation now. Is it? It is W equal to 0 and 100. Okay. Okay. Got it, my dear friend. So it is opening downward, uh, downward and 0 and 100. So now, let me make some approximate graph for this one. It is going to be how? The graph will be passing through these two points opening like this. Got it? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I told you 
it is at the midpoint you can have it is zero and this is 100 100 i mean 100 comma zero it is aw is so at midpoint you are going to have midpoint is what zero plus 100 by two yeah which is 50 at this value you are going to get the maximum value of aw Got it, my dear friends? Yeah. So, either you go by uh, minus b by 2a or find the roots and take its midpoint. In both the way you can do. And if you want, want to find out the value of what is going to be the value of Adam, you just plug in 50 in this expression. In this expression. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you plug in the 50, what, what you are going to get? 100 into 25 minus 25 square. Oh, I'm sorry. 100 into 50 minus 50 square. What are you going to get? 25,000. Huh? 25,000. 25. 25, 25, sorry. So A50, not 25. A50 is what? Uh, 5,000. Okay. Minus 50 square is what? 25. So maximum value of AW is going to be what? 2500, my dear friends. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yes. So this is how you do it. So which value, which other expression can give you, uh, uh, which uh, it can, you know, displays that at W equal to 50, you are going to get the maximum value? A. A. Got it? Yes. Uh -huh. Got it, my dear friends? Yeah. Then another way. If you will, you, if you will uh, simplify A, B, C, D, if you will simplify A, B, C, D, my dear friends, if you're going to simplify A, B, C, D, everywhere you will get 100 W minus W square only. There is, a, there is also another way of finding out, there is also another way of finding out at what value of W you are going to have you are going to have maximum value. Got it? Yes. That is again by doing completing square method. Now, what is this completing square method? See, I told you this is first method. This is a, let me just write it down. I know this question is big. It is taking time. This is method one. I am writing M1. Okay. Then there is a M2. Method 2. Quickly I do. I know it's a dinner time for you guys. But it's a breakfast time for me also. So I am also hungry. In fact, I didn't eat for last 12 hours. And you didn't eat for maybe 6 or 7 hours. <laughs> so M2. Two is going to be what, my dear friends? It is going to be A W hundred hundred W minus W square. Okay. Okay. Guys, completing square method. In completing square method, first of all, make the coefficient of x square or make the coefficient of x as one. We had Revise this one. Revise the concept. What did we do? Coefficient of x square we made 1. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do? We are going to take out minus common. This is not an equation. First of all, this is not equated to 0. So I have to take minus common. Okay. okay. If I take minus common, then I will be having w square minus w square minus 100 w. Okay. Then what next, my dear friends? <coughs> what next? Coefficient of x divided by 2 mm -hmm. whole square, you will add and subtract. Got it, my dear friends? Uh -huh. Coefficient of x square. You, Coefficient of x, coefficient of x is what? 
minus hundred. Okay. So minus hundred divided by two is what? Completing square method. Okay. Minus fifty. Minus fifty yeah. square. You can add and subtract. Yeah. So minus fifty square or just fifty square. Both are same only. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. But okay, just for just for your happiness, I am putting minus fifty square or fifty square is same only. So doesn't ma make sense. Okay, add and subtract. Okay, my dear friends. Yeah. Can you see what is written here? What is written this this side? Yeah. It is written what? What is written this? And minus minus is outside. Or do not forget that one. W square minus hundred W plus fifty square. What is written this, my dear friends? Come on. A square minus two AB plus B square. It is written nothing but a minus b only square. Completing square method, guys. Completing square method. Got it? Yeah. It is a minus b only square is written if you see properly. So it is w minus w minus w minus fifty square is written. Yeah. Agreed or not? Uh huh. W minus fifty square uh, minus fifty square is two thousand five hundred. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, if I take this is W square. So, guys, if I take the minus inside, it is going to be what? Twenty-five. It is going to be simply, in fact, minus W minus fifty square minus W minus fifty whole square minus minus plus two thousand five hundred. Got it, my dear friends? Uh -huh. Yeah. Tell me at what value of W if I want to get the maximum value of A W. If I want to get the maximum value of Area. At what value of W we are going to have the maximum value of A W, guys? If you put W equal to seventy, then you will be seventy minus fifty whole square with a negative, so it will get subtracted. Even if you put W equal to twenty or thirty, you will have some negative value. It will get subtracted. If you want to maximize this value, you need to have this one as minimum. Got it? Yeah. Not in fact this one. I should rather say for your in fact uh, understanding. I should say the magnitude of this one. W minus fifty. This value has to be minimum. Minus is outside. This value has to be minimum. And what what can be the minimum value for this one? What can be the minimum value for W minus fifty whole square, guys? If you put W more than fifty, then you get positive. If you put more W less than fifty, then also you get positive. Then what can be the minimum value for this one? The minimum value of this one can only be zero. At what value? At W equal to fifty. Are you getting? <laughs> Guys, are you getting? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Got Because it. you want the maximum value, so it is like some value minus something. If you want to maximize yeah. this one, this minus something has to be minimum. Right. Yeah. This whole the second thing. You have one term. You have one term minus second term. You want to maximize this, guys. If you want to maximize, for example, ten minus ten minus. Ten minus uh, x square. Ten minus x square. If you want to maximize this, then you will say, okay, this is ten. This is uh, constant. Nothing can be done for this. I will have to concentrate on x square. 
then if I put x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then also I can get positive. If I put x minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, then also I can get x square as positive. So what can be the, what should be the value of, this value has to be minimum. A minimum, it, should, it can be what? It can be 0 at x equal to 0. Yeah. Are you getting my concept? Yeah. This value, this 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 magnitude, the this this value has to be minimum for this whole expression to have maximum value. Agreed, guys? Yeah. So it is only possible when this expression becomes zero. Because if it doesn't become zero, this w minus fifty whole square, this value will always be positive. And but negative is outside it. So this term will always subtract something from two thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. And I want to minimize that sub, that, that term, which is subtracting something from 2,500. So what can be, what can it, can it be? It can only be when you can equate W minus 50 to zero. It can only be when W equal to 50. So maximum value can be 2,500. This is also another way of doing this question. And this expression, it displays the, it, it displays the way, you know, this question it displays the way the, if you go to the question it displays the way uh, this uh, uh, to find out the value of w to have maximum value of aw got it my dear friends yeah so wasn't it an exhaustive explanation yeah yeah so through this question we understood so many things my dear friends actually uh -huh. we understood how uh, by using completing square method how can you do this question this is a completing square method yeah. nothing but completing square method right. okay this is just a completing square method you call it completing square right yeah so this is by doing completing square method okay or by doing this uh, a bit of graphical method you find the roots, take its midpoint, or you do it minus b by 2a directly. So it was the question was very good. It was asking that which expression is going to which expression is actually going to tell you what can be the value of w so as to have maximum value of the area. Very beautiful question. Mm -hmm. I believe now this class got inaugurated a bit because of this question. So <laughs> let's stop it over here. We had very fruitful class. Uh -huh. So let, yeah. let me stop the recording. Okay, my dear friends. Okay. Okay. So now you will be doing the homework, which I'll be sending you. Okay. okay. So please do the homework religiously, joyfully and happily.